apparently they have those dogs here so you can so you can pet them and relax before your flight because people get stressed out. Anyway, what's up? We're at the airport. We're about to go on an adventure to Tokyo and they're petting again. China can't get enough. We are going to Tokyo, Japan for the first time in all three of our lives. It's going to be absolutely crazy. I'm really excited and nervous. So let's go to Japan. Yeah, I thought uh, some of you might like to know a little bit more about uh, our drummer. <laughs> We are in the Tokyo airport. We just arrived and we're going to customs right now. So I'm probably in trouble for holding my camera out like this. Uh, we're here, it's nighttime and uh, we got a bit of a car ride to get to our hotel or to Tokyo because we're like an hour outside. But we're in Japan right now. We are, we are in Japan, we're here. Okay, but just as few as I possibly can. So we went to our first restaurant, or bar restaurant type thing in Japan, in Tokyo. We just dropped our stuff off at the hotel and we're here having some sake. This is literally our first time walking into an establishment here in Japan and trying to order stuff because we know like no Japanese. So uh, we're having sake and celebrating our arrival here in Tokyo, which is so exciting. And we ordered a very traditional Japanese meal. It's called French fries because we couldn't understand anything else on the menu and I'm pretty sure we couldn't eat any of it. So. But um, first meal in Japan is down. So we finished our snack, our little late night uh, sake and french fries. We're trying to stay awake for at least another hour so we're kind of on the schedule of Japan time. But uh, we're heading back now. Gonna probably get a nice little night rest for tomorrow because tomorrow is like our big day off. We get to kind of just go and explore and do a bunch of things. So we want to be rested up for that and feel good. We are waking up right now and getting ready to go downstairs. It's a really nice day out um, and we're going to go to Shibuya today, do some shopping and adventure around. So that's the plan so far. We're going to eventually get lunch then we'll be back here and we got some cool plans for tonight. We just got to Shibuya right now. It's this giant square uh, full of shopping and all sorts of stuff. We got out of the cab. The cabs here, the taxis here are like pristine. You're not meant to touch the cab. Uh, they have these switches that open the doors for you, which is crazy, but uh, it's a sign of respect not to touch any part of the cab. You just walk in and it has the switch. It's very wild. But yeah, we're going to do, look at behind me. This is, this is where we are right now. It's, it's insane. It's so cool. It's, this is every bit a culture shock as I could have expected and plus, plus more. Uh, but we're going to do some shopping. It should be very interesting. It should be fun. And uh, hopefully we'll find some really cool stuff because Japanese shopping, I've always thought, is like the coolest shopping ever. This is my first Japanese sushi right here. We got it at a, a little convenience store. I got some pineapple. Jenna got some pineapple. I got some of Chan sushi. So let's see how it is. Good one. This is really good. And it's like gas station sushi here. Really good. So we're walking to a place called Harajuku right now. We're walking from Shibuya. Got a little snack and now we're looking to do some more exploring. But Harajuku is like a 10 minute walk. So hopefully we'll get there soon and do some shopping. Like a little mother. Mm -hmm. 
So we were just walking down this alley and we saw a sign that said there was a gluten-free restaurant. So we went inside and it was a completely gluten-free restaurant. I got gluten-free ramen, Ron got gluten-free ramen, Jenna got a gluten-free and vegan sandwich, and a beer, a gluten-free beer. Um, it's called Gluten-Free Diet Cafe by Little Bird in Harajuku, it's amazing stuff. That was cool. It was like a little jingle that was playing outside the door. And it was really loud too. I feel like that's probably something that happens every night. But anyway, uh, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a really, really fun first day in Japan. Uh, we're still pretty tired and we have some really cool plans for tonight. Robot restaurant. Robot restaurant. You'll see it in tomorrow's vlog. And Jenna's vlogging. It's so exciting. I'm but, trying. Yeah. I haven't really been yet because this is a I was just trying to survive. I know. We had a close call today. Jenna ate something that was sort of fishy and... I ordered miso soup yeah. and drank it and then there was like oysters at the bottom and I was like, oh, this is yeah. bad. Yeah. So that's happened before and Jenna's like gotten this close to like yakking. Really but today sick. we gave her some ginger tablets and she, she avoided it. Thank God. We'll be going out tonight to the robot restaurant, which is super dope, but you're going to see that in the next vlog. Wanted to save that for the next vlog because today was pretty packed with stuff anyway. We're having fun in Japan. We're in Tokyo. Yeah. And we're just trying to do our best to have fun. Tokyo. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow when you get to see us at the robot restaurant. <laughs> still so sleepy though. Yeah. I need some energy. Alright, well, let's caffeinate and then go watch robots and and <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to call them. So Hawaii. Uh, okay, bye. So Hawaii. <laughs> Batman wants to be put down. No, 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 I feel sick and tired. <laughs> the Japanese bot. I think grope. Tokyo grope was closed. Tokyo grope was open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>